Good morning, you guys. Made myself a little cortado sorts. The espresso machine. I'm at, staying at my sister's right now for the weekend. This is the last day. We're gonna be going to church, so I have to take a shower, get ready, get the kids ready, but I'm just having a moment to drink my coffee and I'm trying to finalize the previous vlogmas so that I can have it ready to post. I have my suitcases that I took out of my sister's storage. Well, at least this one. I'm gonna leave the other ones here. I left a few things here in her storage in the attic because we don't really have room where to put it. We do have all of our furniture and stuff in storage. That stuff we actually stored at my in-laws. My in-laws were super sweet to <laughs> let us store all of our furniture and all our junk when we sold our house um, there. Man, I cannot wait to get all my stuff out of storage. It's mainly furniture, like all of our clothes and all that we took, but it's mainly just furniture, my husband's tools and stuff like that. But I planned a trip for our family um, mid-December. There's a little resort in North Carolina that looks super cute. You can go there just to see it light up for Christmas, but it reminds me of Lake Placid in New York. If you've never been, the Adirondacks, Lake Placid, Whiteface Mountain area, there are a few different ski resorts. There's the main one, Whiteface Lodge, I believe it's called. We've never been to that one, although we have been on the, I think it's gondola ride that takes you up and down. But every Christmas, or like before Christmas, Christmas Eve, for the past couple of years, we've loved going to the resort Lake Placid. I forgot what it was called. I have to leave it down below because I might have a vlog of us going there. I might not. I know that I vlogged. I just don't know if I still have it up. So I saw this resort in North Carolina and I was like, oh my goodness, that reminds me so much of the Lake Placid Resort. We have to go. It looks so cute. We have to go, especially during the Christmas time. So I booked a little mini getaway for our family. So I'm going to need some suitcases. So I got this suitcase and then I got another duffel bag. Um, but today, not much is going to be going on, honestly. This was like a super chatty intro as it is with no makeup on. I did brush my teeth out. That's one thing that I do every single morning before I do anything. I'm like, I have to brush my teeth because I can't even drink my coffee unless I brush my teeth. I don't know what it is. It's just like, I don't know. It's a bit later in the day. We came home from church, ate. My sister wants me to take some Christmas photos of her family outside and I'm just waiting for an Instacart order. I got like some fruits and stuff for the road and we're gonna head out back home. My husband's like, man, I miss all the noise and I'm like, I don't, I feel like I heard all the noise this weekend. So um, I'm ready for like a little bit of quiet time, I'm not even gonna lie. It was a really fun weekend hanging out with my sister. We had made tons of great memories, we did some Christmas things, so it was really fun. I'm really glad I came. Probably might come back for their, they have like a Christmas performance. I thought it was today, but it turns out it's actually a few weekends from now. So we'll probably come back here again, like with the whole entire family when my husband's not working on the land, but yeah, I'm glad we, we had a great time. Cookie, we're gonna miss you. Mwah. Bye. Bye, Cookie. Standing up close by the Christmas tree. We made it. Home sweet home. Are you guys excited to see Papa? Me. I want surprises. Oh boy. I have some more stuff to carry in packages and luggage and stuff. And then unpacking, that's never fun. I just want to record the kids. Look at our cute little lights here. The kids are excited to see the cat as well. I think we're all excited to see the cat. Chee Chee! Chee <laughs> Are you sniffing out the other cats? Chee Chee. Don't care of anything else. It's Christmas. I gotta tint my eyebrows because they're so light now that I feel like if, unless I, if I don't fill them in, eyebrows are such a big deal. So are lashes, but uh, good morning. <clears throat> it's the next morning. I have missed my espresso machine. I usually vlog, well, first of all, one thought at a time. So I know this is Vlogmas, but I'm a little bit ahead. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna combine yesterday with today because yesterday not much happened. We were just, we went to church, um, ate, I took Christmas photos for my sister, and then I basically headed out. So that was it, there wasn't much. I came home and I was gonna do like a nighttime skincare routine, but I just unpacked everything. I'm somebody that I unpack as soon as I get home. This is my mentality. 
that I tell myself. Everybody's different. I'm gonna have to do it eventually. It's gonna have to get done. No matter what, the effort is gonna be put in. So I'm like, might as well just do it now. So I usually just unpack. As soon as I get home, uh, we ate, put the kids to bed, and I just didn't really feel like filming, honestly. So I thought I'd combine it with this morning's vlog. So I made myself a cappuccino and Oh, that's the other thing that I want to talk about. My brain, I'm telling you. Oh, I was saying that Vlogmas, I'm kind of ahead. So I started filming two days ahead to give myself some time in case something like this does happen. So I'm not technically behind. It's easier to be ahead if you ever do Vlogmas because it's just so much easier. You have time to edit the next day's vlog to have it up. You're not in a rush. Whereas the first two years that I did it, I used to do it the day of. Like literally, I would film edit by nighttime and have it up by nighttime for like first time I think I did it did I do it 24 days no the first time I did it 12 days and then the second time I did it like 24 days it was a lot so I would if you're gonna do it definitely recommend filming like two days ahead like nobody cares but anyway my kids are gonna go open their advent calendar so I told them give me a second <laughs> let me get a sip of coffee in and Tell the vlog fam hi, and we're gonna go open our advent calendars and get our day started. They have to do their homeschool. There's really not much going on today, just being honest. So I'll take you guys through my random day of a Monday. We have some eyebrows on, and I feel like a whole new person. But I forgot that I have a pickup Walmart pickup order. I got a notification to that my order is ready for pickup, so I was like, oh yeah, I placed it late last night. So what happened was. I booked an overnight stay to a resort further up north. I was looking up places where you might potentially get some snow. So I found, I know like around Beach Mountain, they do fake snow for skiing because they have like a ski resort and all that. And then around Boone, North Carolina, Blowing Rock, like you might get a half inch or so in December. So I was like, you know what, let me book a resort, maybe we'll get lucky. So I did an overnight stay for next week and then I was looking at the weather and it showed that they might get some snow this week. So I was like, huh, let me change my dates. So we changed the dates for this week instead. So now I have to go to Walmart and pick up some, I got some thermal sets for the kids because we don't have any. And then I forgot my daughter's hat. She had a hat we took to Bill Graham Library and we were on the shuttle bus. Then we got off the shuttle bus and I'm like, Louise, where's your hat? She's like, I gave it to you. And I'm like, oh yeah, oops. So I gotta get her a hat and then some gloves because it's supposed to be cold, like New York cold, low of 21 cold. But anyway, yeah, my order's ready. I got my coffee to go because I just realized I gotta gas up, that's fun. And um, I feel like I was doing my, washing my face and doing my makeup and stuff and I realized, was I talking about um, that I missed my espresso machine? I had a thought rolling but I never, never said it um, we went to my sister's and the espresso machine that I was using if you watch the previous vlog the Casa Brew is where I was doing my lashes with her that was my old espresso machine Casa Brew sent that to me to do a YouTube video review it wasn't like a paid sponsorship or anything but I really wanted to try it and I really liked it this was before I got into dialing in coffee and all of that so but without me knowing any knowledge, I was able to kind of like eyeball things and just get the pressure within range and use fresh beans and I really liked it. And for her, she also says the same thing. She loves it, it's easy to use. Um, but now that I have my machine here and I'm like dialing in and all this stuff, it's, I'm like, man, you gotta come to my house for a proper cappuccino, girl. <laughs> I'm just teasing her. Home now, I wanna show you what I got, got at Walmart. They did not have too many options for like, thermal sets. They did have these blue ones here, so I got one for all three kids, even though it's from the boys section, just because they had them for all sizes. I do wish I could have found some fleece ones, but they do have some fleece leggings, like fleece lined leggings, and I found some for myself. Um, although they don't look like they're fleece lined. Oh yeah, it is. It's very, very thin. Definitely not as thick as I thought it would be but it looks super soft and cozy. So maybe this will work. So just like some leggings for myself because it's going to be cold. And then I got Chai, you are so nosy. Some gloves for the kids. Oh my gosh, these are tiny. These are baby size. I did not realize I ordered baby size gloves. Wow, way to go. Way to go, Tosh. Mm, yeah, these are, <laughs> these are not going to work. They're going to fit my cat. Well, that was my fault, um, but I did get these for my daughter. I got her a hat, so 
that kind of stinks. I might have some gloves. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to stop by Walmart there or something because, yeah, no, these, <laughs> these are not going to work. Oops, we are not going to talk about this hair. So I never take them. put my hair up oh, like this, especially since right now it's short. My... But they're so excited because they just got some little gift bags from a couple here at the campground. They, Eloise always walks over there and like talks to her, chats it up, <laughs> hangs out with her like BFS. So it's so sweet that she got like little gift baggies for the kids of like little random cute tidbits. I thought that was super sweet, but it's actually later in the day. Kids are finishing up home school. You can see my tape in. This is not, not a cute look. Ooh, the lighting in here is not the best, but it says that my 12 days of coffee box came in. So I'm really excited for that. Let's make ourselves a cup of coffee. I can't wait. So I've been waiting for this. Oh, it's such a charm. Got you up in my arm. There's nobody at the door. You said I wish this will never be over. This is for day one. It's the holiday blend. And I think I'm going to do pour over for all of these because trying to dial it in, I feel like it's just going to be so wasteful. It usually takes me a couple shots to dial it in, especially when it comes to lighter roasts. Lighter roasts in general are always harder to dial in. And I feel like lighter roasts also, a lot of them taste better either with drip coffee or like pour over. So I've been enjoying pour over actually and my husband has as well and there's enough ounces in each one. I can't remember how much it was but I calculated it and should be enough for two people. So that's good but this, I took these out and they look almost look like pea berry coffee beans because I've tried pea berry before unless it's just like a mix but these look teensy tiny. They smell really good so I'm really interested to see. <laughs> I was like let me smell them, let me look at them. What is this pea berry you're talking about? All right, so the notes are maple syrup, pine, orange zest, and shortbread. So let's go ahead and try this out. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. The coffee is good. I have been loving pour over lately. Definitely like a cappuccino, espresso with milk kind of gal, but. Lately, I've just been really liking like a smooth cup of coffee and I don't add any sweetener or anything. I just do coffee with a little bit of cream and that's my go-to. And I've had this pour over, I got it from Target from the brand Hearth and Hand by Magnolia because I do get that question every time I post about it. Somebody's like, oh, where's that from? That's so cute. I've had it for a few years now and it's holding up really well. It's super simple. I'm not very particular when it comes to pour over. Like I know there's like all these steps and stuff. I do weigh out the coffee beans, whereas before I would just do like a whole scoop. But because I'm pre-grinding the coffee, like I'm starting with whole beans, I weigh out, I would say like anywhere from 15 to 17 grams. I feel like this I could have used a little bit more so I'll know for next time because it tastes maybe like a little bit watered down but it's still good. Like once in a while you just really want a cup of coffee and I saw that and I was like perfect. I've been loving pour over so I'm really excited to try those 12 days of coffee right up my alley and I'm just kind of finalizing what to pack. I'm going to grab some thermals. I got a few thermal turtlenecks from Amazon a few years ago when we were going hiking and still have them still use them the thermal leggings like a chunky knit pretty much just like finishing up and then I gotta grab some clothes for the kids and I'm really excited we're gonna have like a little weekend trip I'll take you guys along for that as well but today wasn't like super fun nothing really exciting happened some days are like that you know not every day is like oh we're doing something that's that I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out it is late it is dark we got to get started on a bedtime routine, and I'll see you guys, hopefully I'll see you guys in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye! You and me tonight, I'll spend all this Christmas with you.